Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my husband here with me. Hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we're here to do, uh, as you see me with my husband, we're here to do, um, what we'll do coolly. Maybe a marriage series or whatever it's called. So this is in regards to um, me being a uh, from Zimbabwe and my husband being from Ghana originally we live in the UK right now but yeah so how everything so everything you want to know about how the marriage works and etc because I got a message on my Instagram that yeah that's the kind of stuff you guys want to know because we we did a video about that right about the Lobola I think and then it's got, it got quite a lot of news, yeah right? and then the what's the other video yeah, but it's there. We'll link it up there or put it in the description box. So you wanted to know more, and she's not the first person who say that. So I think it's good because not a lot of people are talking about that. So guys, I'm pregnant. If you're African, I think this happens to most Africans. You just start spitting, spitting. I spit from beginning, not from beginning, from some point of pregnancy till I give birth. The day I give birth, that's the day I stop spitting. That's why so just forgive me. So yeah, I'm with my husband. So today, pay your request. Sorry, what was the name? Rule? Oh, I forgot. But I might put the name. So pay your request. So today we're talking about how did I adjust or how did we both adjust actually to the different cultures. But I think it's more like how did I adjust because obviously the man marries the woman, right? But yeah, I'm sure you had some adjusting to do as well. So yeah so yeah. I, I can i'm just gonna start with you because i've been talking forever and i'm breathing heavy why don't you start <laughs> <laughs> i'm like breathing heavy okay oh, hold on is. so i should start yes please start so basically me being from zimbabwe and you being from ghana when we got married um i would say the culture um I think like we've said in another video and we'll say it again i think the ghanian culture is more like the respect thing you know like you emphasize a lot on that and i think you said last time it depends which part of ghana you're from yeah. and for for us for me it was like uh, right because i was thinking i'm respecting you right but i just had and i think it's a it's in a lot of zimbabwean <laughs> We have a sharp mouth, like we tend to just talk, like we don't know we have a sharp mouth, it just happens. <laughs> so I don't think it sat well with my husband, so let's hear from him <laughs> how it was. And it wasn't like I was trying to be disrespectful or trying to be rude, because there are some people, no matter where you're from, you're just rude, you know, or you just don't want to adjust, you just don't respect the person. It wasn't like that. It's just like adjusting, because obviously we grew up in... Um, different areas different countries and now we come together as adults you mm -hmm. know so it's a little bit can be a little bit challenging and some people don't manage to get past that mm -hmm. some people are like having issues five years on mm -hmm. ten years on and some people end up divorcing you know mm -hmm. so it's a serious thing but we just it wasn't even for that long and mm -hmm. now we're married for like four years mm -hmm. yeah and there's nothing like that so how did that happen so how did you like adjust like how do you feel like did you feel like i'm disrespectful like i didn't respect <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of adjustment yeah. uh, like my wife said there is a vast difference in the culture mm -hmm. between uh, the two countries zimbabwe and ghana mm -hmm. ghana sort of stresses more on respect mm -hmm. Uh, she literally laughs at me when I'm speaking to my brother or my mom. Yeah. I literally say Pacho, Pacho. So Pacho means please. We, we literally address uh, the elderly with a lot of please. Yeah. When we are talking, yeah. and, 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 and that's more like the emphasis in Ghana. You respect the elderly. Mm -hmm. So having come into the marriage, she, she's from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. uh, she she speaks. Freely, yeah. uh, with no restrictions. 
No holding back. So, no holding back. Yeah. So basically, I had to teach her mm. that uh, sometimes how you answer, how you deliver an answer also counts. You, yeah. you, you may not mean it the way it comes out, but your delivery also comes. Yeah. So I taught her on how to deliver yeah. her, her, her mind or her message across yeah. to be well understood without sounding a bit rude right, or harsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh, the Bible says we are Christians. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that how can two work together if they agree? So, yeah. um, there should be an agreement. Agreement mm -hmm. in so many things. Agreement in your belief. Agreement in 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 how you want things done. Mm -hmm. Else there will always be confusion in the house. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. In the previous video, I think I, I, don't, I can recall I cited an example where a couple divorced because of toothpaste. Mm. <laughs> One was pressing it from the middle, so, another yeah. presses it from, from the back and so on and so forth. Yeah. So there should always be an agreement, there should mm. always be uh, an acceptance. You, mm. you, you have to accept some part of someone or your spouse mm -hmm. that cannot be changed. Certain Heavenly. things cannot be changed. Mm. Certain mm. things <laughs> on the other hand can be changed. So That's you work on... You, you 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 work you work on the things that can be changed. So so basically, two cannot work uh, cannot work together except they agree. Mm -hmm. So there should be some agreement in in everything how the kids are raised. Yeah. How both of you talk to each other, address uh, people outside yeah. of the marriage, uh, both mm -hmm. families, and mm -hmm. how you handle issues. There should be a, an agreement of some sort. Mm -hmm. So. There should be also a, a, a common belief. Mm. You should believe in virtually almost the same thing, if yeah. not possible, hundred percent, then ninety percent. Yeah. So it's side. like, yeah. do you know, um, in terms of like the culture, like what you're saying is all right. Uh, I'll, yeah. I just thought of something now. Do you know, like in Zimbabwe, yeah. when um, you're married, mm -hmm. when you're the um, daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. So you have to the wife. She has to like go and kneel to the um, ma, ma, the mother-in-law, oh. and then to let's say the people in the home. And when she gets there, she's the one who has to cook, oh. put the beer fridge or something like <laughs> that. that. A lot of and it's like here. everywhere you go, they're like Murara, like that means the, the, the in-law. It's like you have to really um, <laughs> be. I don't know how to describe it. So it's like when you go to the house, you're cooking, wow. you're doing everything, and they're like, Morora, this, Morora, that. So, you know, to ask yeah. if, um, and go on, I'm asking because basically right now it's just me and my husband. The reason why I'm saying that is because I don't really know all the cultures like that because it's just me and my husband. Like, mm. my husband's mom is in Ghana. Mm and then uh he has a brother so he doesn't have sisters so i won't have to go through that thing if we got the, you know sisters are always the, <laughs> the, the, troublemakers. the troublemakers but i've met um his dad before mm. he went back to germany he was here in the uk and he wasn't like that i think because he grew up here he would just try and teach me a tree he would be like oh brad i know that one because he told me a lot so he was always trying to teach me tree and all that but he was he was very flexible like he wasn't like you have to do this you have to do that but in Zimbabwe I know it's a big deal like mm -hmm. I can just come and visit mommy and then I'm there not doing nothing wow. or in, in Ghana it's, the op 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 uh, it's, it's, it's almost the opposite mm. when you come to your your mother-in-law's house virtually if they have sis if if yeah. I had sisters yeah. they'll be doing all the cooking for you mm. they will wow. treat you like a queen Oh, that's nice. So it's not that you come and you'll be serving the whole house. Mm. <laughs> so it's not like it will be a problem. No, Let's say I meet mommy now, it's not going to be like a problem. No. If I say, oh, I'm just chilling, give me five minutes. No. Mm. And is there a certain way that we have to greet? if let's say you are marrying into the family or does that depend on the specific Ghanaian family the person is being yeah. married into? Uh, Okay. I think uh, Zimbabweans are more respectful in terms of uh, Lobola, how you have to express yourself, how you have to bow down before your your husband and serve. Yeah, and even after Lobola, like let's like say that. when you go visit mm. that my dad or my mom or whatever, you have to still be doing that from wow. the door. 
But obviously, we got married. You never did that, right? When we went to visit. Yeah. <laughs> but then they just let it go because it's uh, I don't know. But yeah, it's a big thing. So it's not like it's that. It's a big issue in Ghana. It's not like that. Mm. But then in a funeral setting, like I said, you have oh, to yeah. greet from the right. You don't greet from the left, and yeah. you don't wear a cap and all that. But mm. these days, with modernization, <laughs> yeah, there are lots of adjustments. So. Modernization has also affected a lot of cultures. Mm -hmm. like and then also one thing as well. Where you grow up also affected, right? Yeah. And where you live as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like basically like with my mother in law, mm. um yeah, my mother in law <laughs> I don't we don't even call her, right? She's the one that calls us from Ghana and she never like complains like, Oh, your wife and then sometimes mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say on the phone, so I'm late to my husband, there you go. But she's very lovely, we have a good relationship, mm -hmm. isn't it babe? Yeah, I've do. not sensed that, oh, you're Zimbabwean and I'm there, it's that kind of stuff. Because I used to sense that I when I was in a particular church, because mm -hmm. it was a lot of Ghanaians and I'm like, ooh, this lot. <laughs> I was like, it's too much, you know, but I'm, I've never sensed that, so maybe that depends on the family you're yeah. marrying into. Yeah, it does. It does. And then, uh, everything yeah. depends on the individual as well as the family you are marrying into. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you are going in for. That's why uh, we have said two cannot work together except they agree. Yeah. There should be agreement between the family as well as the two the two uh, partners. Yeah, and I think yeah, the culture that you should follow is obviously the word of God. If you're because we are believers, Christian, right? So. Nope. That should be the manual, you know, because if you try to fight, you know, we sit so we sit with the right hand, we don't yeah. even, that, you just fight forever, because this one will be like, I grew up with that, this one also, I grew up with that, so, but the word of God, you can come to a common ground and create your own thing that works for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. So just because you grew up doing this doesn't mean you have to do that in your mm. marriage, especially if you've married somebody from another culture a different country you have to adjust because you knew what he was getting into mm. if you wanted to be into your culture so much then you should have married somebody who is into that as well isn't precisely, it precisely precisely yeah so and then maturity also comes mm -hmm. maturity is very paramount to marry that's a big you one. have to be mature to marry yeah if you are not mature don't marry yeah by maturity in terms of how you speak, mm -hmm. in terms of how you think, mm -hmm. how you relate to people, mm -hmm. uh, you understand? Yeah. Maturity in terms of patience, mm -hmm. how endearing you are, mm -hmm. how tolerable you are, mm -hmm. how you can accept your, your partner, Yeah. how you can embrace new things, mm -hmm. because <laughs> like I always use the typical example of peace. For instance, when my wife cleans the house, you, you dare not litter. <laughs> It's a problem. <laughs> it's a big problem. When she cleans, she cleans. <laughs> when she cleans, you see a speck of dirt. When I came so, over, <laughs> but my husband is like an OCD. But I always he clean every every second. Time. But yeah. she she makes time to clean. Yeah. So once she cleans like that, it's more than my cleaning no, every no. day. And, and 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 we we all, we always joke. You 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 have to to be able to take a joke. Is it to take a pill? Yeah, take the chill pill. Take the chill pill. Ah, yeah. you see? <laughs> you have to be able to take a joke. Yeah. It's not everything. That's true. That's that deep. You, you take it serious. Mm, it's not that deep. For instance, in this house, we always laugh about things. Yeah. She laughs at me, I laugh at her. That's true. And all that. So, it's not that your wife sees something, they jump, hey, you're you are disrespectful, yeah. you are offended. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That means you didn't heal from past pain, right? Precisely. Going, yeah, 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 every minute you're mm. offended. Something yeah. is going on. So That's before you part. marry, yeah. make sure you're matured. Yeah. Make sure you're matured. Make sure my wife just mentioned that. You, that means you've not healed of past experience or mm. pain. Make sure you are healed psychologically, emotionally, yeah. physically, mm -hmm. okay, mentally, spiritually, yeah. from any injury you suffered in previous relationship with another lady yeah that is your ex yeah. or your girlfriends or whatever it yeah. is or with your parents maybe your daddy didn't take care of you your mom 
mm. didn't take care of you or both didn't take care of you or you grew up as an orphan mm. and the pain and the hurt that you have suffered yeah. from step mom step sister yeah. step siblings and whatnot you have to make sure you are healed from this because if you are not healed you, you tend to carry it over yeah into, into your, your relationship yeah. and then into your marriage to yeah. hurt your spouse to hurt your children to hurt everyone yeah you understand so make sure you agree it's very paramount make sure you agree yeah. that's why the, the the time for courtship is so important there should be that the word calls it compatibility mm. agreement there should be that compatibility yeah you have to agree on many many things if not 100 percent you have yeah. to agree on most things yeah it's not that one says I, our children if we give birth to our children they'll go to private school other says they'll be homeschooled yeah. another says uh, they'll go to public That's school true, yeah. another says no uh, we'll give them over to our, 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 our parents. parents to take care of them whilst we go and work and things there should be agreement on what okay, you want to do yeah. on what you want to do and then also remember that the man is the head and being the head does not mean she will press everyone under mm -hmm. him yeah being the head you bring direction mm -hmm. you bring good leadership mm -hmm. what you would want someone do to you what you would want your spouse do to you you have to do it likewise to, 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 to her yeah the bible says love your neighbor as you love yourself yeah so what you wouldn't want to be done to you if you don't want to be shouted at you don't need shouting at mm -hmm. your partner yeah. if you want to be spoken to softly that's what you do you speak softly to your spouse yeah and the wife should be teachable. My wife is very teachable. Mm -hmm. uh, how she adjusted to cooking, it, it marvels me up to yeah. now. Because <laughs> within a split second, she can cook jollof better than me, wash it better than me, mm -hmm. almost all the Ghana cuisine better than me. Mm -hmm. You see, so she she had to study. So don't say that. Oh, this is how I was brought up. Yeah. So true. I stick to it. Mm -hmm. My mind is stereotype. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Yeah. No change. Yeah. No adjustment. This is how I'll cook. I'm going to make this food. That's what you've got to eat. Yeah. She even makes Pakistani food. You yeah. Know? Is it well, well, yeah, well, he, ka, ka, karahi or something? Karahi, yeah, chicken yeah, karahi. Chicken karahi. Yeah. She, you see, so she goes continental. Yeah. She she learns. She goes the extra mile. Mm. She said, let's try something different. So she learns Chinese meal makes it. Mm. She learns. Pakistani meal makes it. Yeah. She can make her own naan bread. Yeah. She learned how to bake. She learned yeah. how to make cake. Mm. She learned how to bake. Yeah. So you can learn. Be flexible. Things. Yeah. And Don't then, your way. Yeah, I want so wanted to say one yeah, thing. Um, I mean. when it comes to yeah, like to the agreeing, like mm. when it comes to culture, because where um in Ghana mm. when you're naming the children mm. like you give them a name like Kwame this that that, that right yeah according That's to the like day the they were born yeah, yeah. Uh, according to, to the, yeah. yeah according to the day they were born yeah. and that's like the norm yeah. but with us even though he's Ghanaian and it's not because I'm Zimbabwean so I'm like no we're not naming that but it doesn't mean really like Zimbabwe name Can yeah you imagine? so our children neither have any Zimbabwe name because no, in Zimbabwe no. too when you give birth you have to the other name has to be Shona mm. or Ndebe or whatever mm. you're from and the other one English mm. right but none of our children have either Ghanaian names or Zimbabwe, or Zimbabwe names. names not that we're like oh, forget you but it's just um, just what we believe in what we believe in yeah <laughs> you know because so now we are going by the culture of the Bible yeah that's it. Mm -hmm. that's it. we are going by the culture of the Bible so, um, yeah, we did name them that and then also the culture as well there's a culture when you are getting married to a Ghanaian person and you are a Zimbabwean lady there is a um, naming ceremony I don't oh, think we okay. do that in Zimbabwe or there's a lot of things I think we don't do there but sometimes <laughs> maybe we do <laughs> but I don't think we do this in Zimbabwe anywhere there's what we call naming ceremony in Ghana right mm -hmm. so it's like the child is born then you dedicate them yeah Sort of it's like when you're a Christian you sort of like read the word but you tell them to no you don't tell them you actually give the child salt honey and water and then you <laughs> tell <laughs> you're laughing I'm not laughing because people take it serious yeah, yeah, yeah. you know if you are getting married to somebody a man who is Ghanaian and he still practices that as a believer I don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah, if you yeah, pray yeah. over it so you know so we're laughing but yeah because we just don't do that no more we did it for our daughter going sit on your chair 
we did it for our daughter we did it for her and um yeah but afterwards as we get got closer to the lord and our own convictions it's like okay we, we don't think we want to practice that because of the is it the origin of how we started even though whenever you pray because everything we eat some people are dedicating it to whatever but mm. with prayer and thanksgiving then it is sanctified sure yeah so do you want to say something about the naming i'm saying precisely. yes if i'm <laughs> from there mm. precisely uh, god 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 created everything and he brought it to adam and whatsoever adam named it mm. was accepted yeah okay so you have to agree and, and decide on names agreement is very key yeah don't marry someone because she is beautiful she meets your specs your design or whatever yeah. there should be that agreement that yeah. is key mm. it's not even love that agreement yeah. you cannot work together except they agree mm. a union between two there should be agreement agreement in everything yeah how your children will be raised how many children That's agreement it. in so many things if your woman your wife your fiance is not yeah. ready to carry your seed your child why do you why do you marry her when you want children yeah you understand there should be that agreement she should be ready to give birth uh, carry a child for you yeah how many children you have to come up to an agreement on all these things yeah okay so if there is no agreement no matter how nice she is how well she can cook or whatever it is you have to let her go mm -hmm. else you will face those problems when you marry yeah you so you should problems. know yeah. yeah if you're getting married to somebody who's this from Ghana, yeah. yeah, Zimbabwe, and just know what what you're getting into and Precisely. just um ask him ask him when you are calling like so what do, what is it that you believe in what do you practice so you're prepared for it because with the naming ceremony we i did it i was like because it's something new i like learning new things so you should marry somebody who's open <laughs> i like learning new things so for me it was nice like oh okay you know so whatever it is i just go with what my husband i just go with what my husband says uh, that we're going this direction and we just go that direction to be honest and yeah isn't it so that's how that's we have adjusted to the different culture yeah so like with um yeah <laughs> Yeah, so with my uh, with my husband, whatever he says, we're going this direction. We go that way, and so that's how we've adjusted to the like different cultures mm. and you know all this. Oh, I think this because just educating yourself, mm. like okay, this is what they do in their culture, but this is what they do in their culture. She's like this. I'm sure I had to adjust. She's like this because of how she grew up or whatever. Mm. And then you now come together to an agreement that okay in this house this is what happens mm -hmm. here do you get me irrespective of what uncles and aunties think let them think whatever mm -hmm. they want to think but because you're making a family together That's true. so you have to adjust and make your own culture yeah. so now i don't see my husband as organian he doesn't see me as zimbabwean it's like we just blend so much we just flow so much there's nothing like that right no yeah there's nothing like that and absolutely nothing like yeah. that yeah yeah so it's not because we've abandoned culture no like we said our culture is heaven yeah our culture is the word of god so yeah stick to it that, that's the commonality mm -hmm. that that bonded us together that's it. that brought us together mm -hmm. our belief so there should be something that brought you together yeah that should be the focal point that's of it. your agreement that's it okay you can't sign a contract when you, you are not agreeing with the terms and condition of the contract. Marriage is a covenant. You have to agree to the terms yeah. of that covenant. Mm. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know or if they, i think i've seen one but i think they haven't done videos in like a while but that one is like the man is involved when the woman is Ghanaian. but most i'm getting is the woman is involved when the man is Ghanaian, and you want to know so yeah we'll be doing more videos on that and forgive us if the video don't come as often because <laughs> we have children that are just yeah <laughs> they're all over this <laughs> video <laughs> so yeah <laughs> <laughs> so please comment below and share this video and like and watch the full video subscribe yeah if you're not subscribed please subscribe and yeah click on the notification bell Turn yeah on. <laughs> click on all notifications so that when we put out a video you're the first one to get it so thank you so much for your support guys and yeah just keep watching Adios. <laughs> Bye. Bye.